Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at solving equations with x on both sides. We're going to look at example 1. And example 1 says 3x equals 2x plus 5. We've got a plus 2x on the right hand side. That's been added to the 5, so we're going to get rid of the plus 2x. And we do that by subtracting 2x from both sides. 3x minus 2x on the left hand side is just x. And on the right hand side, the 2x and the minus 2x will make 0x and the plus 5 will stay the same. The plus 5 is not affected by the minus 2x because the plus 5 is just a number, it's not an x. We've got x equals 0x plus 5, the 0x disappears and we've just got x equals 5 and that's the final answer. Looking at the next example now, we've got 5x minus 2 equals 2x plus 10. The opposite of minus 2 is plus 2. So we get rid of the minus 2 by adding 2 to both sides. We only add the 2 to the 10 on the right hand side because the 2x cannot be added by 2. And we get 5x equals 2x plus 12. Then we get rid of the plus 2x by subtracting 2x. And we get 3x equals 12. The 2x and the minus 2x have cancelled. Finally, we've got a 3 times x is equal to 12, so we're going to do the opposite of times by 3, divide by 3. And we get x equals 4. That is the final answer. However, we can check. We can substitute our answer back into the original equation. We're going to replace the x with 4 in the equation. We place it on the left hand side and replace it on the right hand side. I think that 5 times 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 times 4 plus 10. And we're just going to check that both sides are equal, and therefore, if it is equal, we've got it correct. 5 times 4 is 20, and then subtract 2 on the left-hand side is 18. On the right-hand side, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 10 is 18. Both sides are indeed equal to each other, and we can be very confident that answer is correct. Example 2, we're going to solve these equations. These are getting a bit tricky now. And so we'll start with 4 times 2x minus 1 equals 7x plus 1. And to start, we're going to expand these brackets by multiplying the 4 by everything in the bracket. 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times minus 1 is minus 4. And this is still equal to 7x plus 1. We started by expanding the brackets on the left-hand side, and that hasn't changed the right-hand side. The opposite of minus 4 is going to be plus 4, and we get 7x plus 5 on the right-hand side. Then we subtract 7x from both sides, and we get 8x minus 7x equals 5, which is just x is equal to 5, and that's the final answer. Now the next one, we've got 4x plus 1 divided by 5 equals 3x minus 8 over 2. And we're going to start by getting rid of this divide by 5, by multiplying both sides by 5. I get 4x plus 1 equals 5 times 3x minus 8 over 2. Just notice there that I only multiply the top of the fraction by 5 and not the bottom. Then I get rid of divide by 2 by multiplying by 2, and I get this. Those steps there can be made simpler if you just realise a pattern. This is called cross-multiplying where we've moved the 2 up like this. Moving the 2 to up and the 5 to the other side is called cross-multiplying. This can be seen even easier like this, where we're moving the denominators to the other side of the fraction as a multiplier. That's a trick called cross-multiplying, and if you get good at that, I can save you time in the exams. We then expand the brackets, move the minus 40 to the other side, move the 8x to the other side by making it negative, we get 42 equals 15x minus 8x, which is just 7x. 42 is equal to 7x, and we divide by 7, divide by 7, we get x is equal to 6 as the final answer. Finally, I just want to show you this here. We've got minus 4x plus 1 equals 8 minus x. And we're going to uh, rearrange this one. This one's a bit more interesting. 
We're going to get rid of the minus x by adding x to both sides. And we get minus 3x plus 1 equals 8. The opposite to plus 1 is minus 1. We subtract 1 from both sides. We get 3, minus 3x equals 7. Now we're going to get rid of the times by 3. So it says minus 3 times x. We'll divide by 3, divide by 3. And we get minus x equals 7 divided by 3. I'll just write that as a fraction because it's simpler to write 7 divided by 3 as a fraction, 7 thirds. Notice the um, negative sign on the left-hand side has not moved. It still says minus 3x equals... Uh, so minus 3x divided by 3 is just minus x. But we have to get rid of that minus x, and we're just going to swap the signs of everything, and we get x equals minus 7 thirds. Notice that the, I only get the final answer when it's x equals, not minus x equals. So I just move the minus sign to the other side, and it becomes minus 7 thirds as the final answer. Okay? That's everything I wanted to show you today. Now it's time for you to have some practice questions yourself. So it's time to pause the video and try these yourself. It should take you about 10 minutes to do all these questions. Uh, so when you're ready, you can press play and I'll reveal the answers in 3, 2, 1. How did you do? Did you get it correct? Let me know how many you got correct in the comments below. Thanks for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We're covering GCSE, A-Level and IB Maths with new videos coming every week. You can also check out advancedmaths.com for more simple revision. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.